28 weeks and three days today, which means I'm officially in the third and last trimester. I'm a little bit relieved because this pregnancy has been so tough on my body. I'm like ready for it to be over, but at the same time, like my last trimester ever like my last pregnancy trimester ever like I don't know it's just like it's definitely bittersweet so symptoms this week the baby feels lower and I've actually had people tell me that the baby like looks lower too so it's too early for the baby to like technically drop but I don't know if maybe it changed positions if it like flipped back head up or if it I, so, something happened somewhere because everything feels a lot different now the discomfort on like my cervix and my pelvic area has increased and my bladder is constantly being kicked and punched which is normal like no matter what but it's just like this last week for some reason it's just like multiplied times a million and it could be just because the baby is getting bigger but I physically feel like the baby is hanging down lower so definitely odd I'm just kind of assuming that the baby changed position somehow so I will find out next week because I do have my final ultrasound next week or I say final but my midwife did actually send me to get an ultrasound with Landon when I was like 40 weeks like when I was like due to make sure that the the fluid levels were okay so if I do go overdue again this time she might do that again so as far as I know this is going to be the last ultrasound but there could be there could potentially be another one if there's like some kind of problem or whatever my appetite lately has kind of been similar to what it was in the first trimester I haven't really had much of an appetite but it's like it's like the two extremes which is like this whole pregnancy like this whole pregnancy has been it like the extremes it's either like so much of something or like nothing at all of something I don't know if that even like makes sense but like with my appetite it's either that I have no appetite whatsoever like I could be hungry but nothing sounds good or I'll be like I have to have this with this and that right this second or I will murder someone like there's no in between like it's one or the other and it's really tough because a lot of the times I'll just be so hungry and nothing sounds good and I just fight with myself and I end up just like going to bed hungry because I just can't figure out what to eat and with my weight gain I know a lot of people were asking if that has changed because I have not been gaining a whole lot of weight this pregnancy but I do think that that is normal because of the fact that I weighed a little bit more than I did with all my previous pregnancies. So up to this point, I've gained about 13 pounds. I just have a feeling that the whole last trimester is going to just like double that. Like I feel like I'm just gonna like gain so much in the last trimester for some reason. And it's probably because the weird cravings that I do have when I'm like, oh, I have to have this right now. Like the other day I had to have cookies. It was chocolate chip. Pillsbury had to be cooked a certain way and I almost had a meltdown because they didn't come out the way that I wanted to and it was really sad and I had to apologize to Chris afterwards because I was like crying and I was like totally taking it out on him but other than that I just feel like I'm growing a whole lot which is to be expected but I seriously felt like when I woke up the day that I turned 28 weeks so on Sunday I feel like when I woke up I had gained 20 pounds I just felt so much bigger overnight and it's like every night since then I feel like I grow another two inches I just feel massive and of course since I'm feeling so much bigger I'm having a lot more trouble sleeping and so yesterday we went to Target and I got myself for the first time ever out of all the pregnancies that I have I finally bought one of those pregnancy pillows and it's like the boppy brand and you can like lay it's like a big curve I'll like insert a picture or something of what it looks like but it is amazing and I slept with it last night for the very first time and I was like I should have gotten this like 10 years ago like what the heck so worth it it was like $55 or something so it's kind of pricey I usually just sleep with like the body pillows and this one takes care of everything like the feet and the best part about it is that it holds your stomach up too which that was one of my main problems and I think I talked about that in one of my videos it has like this little pad to where it doesn't push your belly up so much that it's uncomfortable but it's just like supporting it so really nice I definitely recommend that I've only slept on it one night but so far I'm really liking it I scheduled my maternity shoot for this pregnancy we're planning on doing it around the end of September I think I mentioned this before but I did hire a birth photographer and I got the package where it's like the maternity shoot and then then like the birth um, photography and then also a newborn session as well so it kind of like comes with everything so that's super exciting and I have to figure out like what I'm gonna even wear anybody who has like any recommendations for like 
nice looking maternity pictures definitely let me know I see like these beautiful pictures and I'm like why can't I think of that like why didn't I think of that why can't I do that so I'm definitely gonna be looking for like an outfit or something where that like looks nice you know also if you haven't seen it already definitely go check out my movement video that I posted this week I posted it a couple days ago and I will have a link right here if you haven't seen it yet but in that video I talked about last week how my placenta is anterior and on the left it's like on my left side where it happened to be implant implanted and then it's anterior which means it's covering my stomach so in that video you can tell that all of the movement is on or the majority of the movement is on the right side I'm assuming that that's why that is the case but like anytime this child moves it is always on the right side or it's always like I can see it on the right side I should say because I feel it everywhere but I can see it mainly on the right side and like every time this kid has the hiccups which is daily I feel the hiccups very 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 low like literally like all the way down there and it's on the right side though like if I'm sitting up I can feel it on my right thigh because my stomach is like sitting on it like it's that low so like I said I went to Target yesterday and we got like the majority of the stuff that we need for the baby that was like the first like main shopping trip that we did that was just for the baby um, I've bought a bunch of things like here and there up to this point we just did like a big old shopping trip looking for we didn't actually get that many outfits because this is my plan okay so this is this is what I'm planning up to this point I don't want to get like a huge surplus of like gender neutral ish clothing if that makes sense like the tans and the grays it's just so hard to find gender neutral clothes I even though it doesn't really like matter like boys can wear the girl stuff and girls can wear the boy stuff like I totally agree with that like if I have a little boy they have these like super adorable like little sweaters and pants and like these little um like legging type things at Target that I want to buy if I have a girl I want to buy like all the bows and like pink stuff and purple stuff you know what I mean like all of those adorable clothes that you see at Target I want to actually buy those and like have my child be able to wear them but I'm not gonna go buy the entire baby section at Target and just like wait to return them you know so my plan at this point is I go and I look for gender neutral stuff that I absolutely could not live without boy or girl doesn't matter Today we bought I think I think we only bought like two outfits that are just absolutely adorable completely gender neutral that you can like either add a bow on or just like add a beanie on and it would be like completely like boy or girl I'm not buying any of the big items such as like a swing only thing that I'm buying is a little rocker rock and play I think that's what they're called a rock and play thing and the only reason I got that is because it matches the baby's for lack of a better word like nursery like we have just an area in our room that we're decorating for the baby and it matches it perfectly so we bought that and it's gray and yellow and then I'm going to buy the car seat and those are gonna be the only things that we buy everything else like the big items we're gonna wait and see if it's a boy or a girl because all of the gender neutral stuff is just not that cute frankly so my plan is once I have this baby we know what it is I'm gonna like push the kid out take a two-hour nap and go freaking shopping at Target and just buy their whole selection of whatever it ends up being <laughs> that is my plan at this point obviously I don't think it's gonna go exactly like that but I've just noticed that we really haven't bought all that much oh the crib too that's the only thing that we got is the crib and then obviously a dresser but those things don't generally come in like pink or blue <laughs> you will definitely see a baby baby haul in the next couple days I'm gonna put all the stuff that we got together and just show you guys all of our gender neutral stuff that we like could not live without so that is my plan for that and I've also been getting a lot of questions about nicknames for the baby and I did answer these questions in the comments or I tried to answer every time I saw it, I try to answer the questions in the comments but everyone's wondering if we have a plan for nicknames for the babies babies I say babies like both names I mean there's only one I swear to god there's only one Adeline is the girl name and Jackson is the boy name and we are 100% set on nicknames for both of those names already So if it's a girl and we have a little Adeline We're definitely planning on calling her Addie and then if it's a boy and we have a little Jackson I am absolutely and this is like the main reason why I wanted the name Jackson is because I want to call the baby Jack Like baby Jack is that not the cutest freaking thing you've ever heard? I've just been in love with that name like forever So if it's a boy we will most likely you're gonna call him Jack and if it's a girl we're definitely planning on calling her Addie so Jack Addie Adeline Jade Jackson Scott 
that's our plan for right now. And obviously, like, when the kid gets older and you see their personality and stuff, nicknames kind of, like, just come over time and we may never end up using those names but as of right now that's kind of what we're thinking so that's pretty much it for this week I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my massive 28 week belly and I'm not gonna forget to measure this week I forgot last week so here is with the shirt on and this is just like a regular tank top and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to wear this for much longer and here is with the shirt up It looks like I am at right at 41 yeah right about 41 so I don't know now that I'm looking at it in the camera I don't feel like I look a lot lower but it definitely feels lower the baby definitely feels like it's more down here so I don't know if that makes any sense but anyway that is it for this week guys make sure you follow me on Facebook snapchat and Instagram I will have those links down below other than that I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next beta video and I'll talk to you next week for our next pregnancy update bye and you're gonna start braiding out I don't know a better way to explain this other than just showing you guys so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys and hopefully you guys can kind of See what I'm doing. So I'm going to go out just like this.